So let's talk high school chemistry. We are so excited to have you offering these high school science classes for Charlotte Mason homeschoolers. I am really excited about chemistry. I know when I was in high school myself, I did not have the greatest chemistry teacher. So when I went into college chemistry, I had no foundation whatsoever. And my chemistry teacher was a soccer coach. I knew a whole lot about soccer, but not a whole lot about chemistry when I went into college. <laughs> so that kind of set my my perspective of needing a foundation for chemistry. So we are going to start with that foundation of what is a periodic table? What do all these numbers and colors mean? And, and how do we get through that? And again, there will be some reading and there will be some uh, note taking that I will have created for you as well. And while we're in the class, we'll be doing some hands-on activities. So all of that will be listed on your syllabus as, as it comes to fruition. You may have to check it a couple of times because as we move forward, if someone is struggling with something, I may come up with a new great, wonderful activity that we'll try as well. And um, we'll learn yeah. to balance chemical equations because that's important. Uh, so there will be some math in it. Most of the math is basic multiplication and division in chemistry. It does use um, a scientific calculator. So you, if you don't have one of those, you'll want to make sure you get a scientific calculator. That way you don't have to worry about all those zeros. It'll do it for you when, when you're doing really long decimals and stuff. Um, other than that, your first semester will count as half a credit for, for high school science and your second semester would count for the other half of the credit. So it will all count and it'll be fun. And I will try to make it as engaging as possible and not talk about soccer while we're there. Although I like <laughs> soccer, so. <laughs> okay, so, so there is math involved. So would you say that students need to have completed a algebra course? They should at least be in Algebra 1 when they take okay. chemistry. Um, they need a basic foundation of multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. And then we're going to look at things in a slightly different way because the way we do math and chemistry um, is a little different than the way we do math in a traditional math class. So having that basis of doing algebra along with it or having had algebra will make those connections in the brain a little bit easier. All right. High School Chemistry, we're so excited.